This pastor went full ether on his congregation. I love to see that someone had the ability to, to confront Christian nationalism, the MAGA movement, Republicans, Democrats, um, all these conservatives who tried to marry um, spirituality and the things of God and politics. Um, I've been saying this for the past couple years, and it's so dope to see a pastor really sit here and confront it. And I want to share my thoughts, and I want to give full reaction to it. So let's talk. So please don't forget to like and subscribe um, right down below. Uh, I think it's important that we um, continue to push g the gospel and its Christian movement throughout the world. I can't do it without you guys. So Pastor Lauren Livingston, uh, uh, he's a pastor that I came across a clip of his sermon on Twitter, it was also on TikTok, all over social media, in which he confronts this, again, Christian nationalist movement. So watch this video. Some of you bring politics into the church. You think that politics is spiritual stuff. Politics is of this world. You think it's your duty to be political about this, that, and the other. No, your duty is to serve the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, body, and strength and love your neighbor as yourself. Don't be talking to me about my spiritual responsibility to vote. I don't have a spiritual responsibility to vote. I have a civic privilege. Yep, like I said, it went full ether. He, he did not hold back. And this is what I've been saying in my, to my circle of friends. And I think I even posted a TikTok or a video about this where we have a new trend or a new gimmick, I want to call it, of marrying our Christian walk and responsibility to politics. And one thing I, I always emphasize is that the last thing that I heard or saw was that in this country, church and state are separate. I also know that the U.S., no matter how much people want to tell you that we're a Christian nation, we're not a Christian nation. We're not a theocracy. We're actually a pagan nation. If, if you're honest with it, if we're true about this country and what it's based on, the God of this country is money. It's not um, Jesus Christ is not the Holy Spirit, not the one living true God. The God of the United States of America is money. So this new approach of the conservative party, of the MAGA Republican movement that is telling us, hey, this is your Christian right and responsibility for you to sit here and vote Republican or vote according to your Christian conscience is crud. It's crud. It's a way to draw in evangelicals to get the vote to make it appear that hey, we're the we're the the the, the party for Christians. No, Christians have no party. Christians have no party. Like you said, it's our civic duty, but not our, our Christian responsibility. Our Christian responsibility is to raise up the banner of the gospel, the banner of Jesus Christ, for us to sit here and tell people about God and point people to God, not point people to Donald Trump, not point people to this particular uh, governor or mayor or candidate. The, the goal of the church is is for us to always make sure we point back to Jesus Christ. What the Christian nationalist movement is doing, what the MAGA movement is doing, what other conservative mo movements are doing, they're not, they're, they're using Jesus Christ as a vehicle to point back and to emphasize a leader. Where there's, there's videos, there's videos that said that God selected Trump, that God created Trump. Like, it doesn't make sense, but we, and, and the Bible says that the, the children of the kingdom are, um, I forgot the exact term, Christ, but they're not as intelligent as the, the children of the world. We fall for this too easily. And yet people argue with me, oh, you cannot, you cannot support a pro, a pro-life, uh, a pro-life, was it pro-choice, pro-choice leader you cannot um, have a person that support no they all they're supporting the the flavor of the month
as you can see, now your, your pro-life leader in Donald Trump is kind of wavering in what he believes. He's saying, ah, this is a little bit too much. What Arizona is doing is a little bit too extreme. Let's leave it to the states. He has never made a stance on either side to say this is what Donald Trump believes. He, he sits here and says what he thinks people want to hear. So we, we need to smarten up. The, the politics is in church too much. Too many of us uh, as pastors, as leaders, we are constantly uh, using our time each week to push a political agenda. But our job is to point back to God. Our job is to sit here and say, what would Christ want? What would God want for us to do? Not sit here and, and simply do what we feel is right and which is cool, what eases our conscience. What we need to do is learn the importance of sitting here and trusting God. We need to learn the importance and significance of believing God. It's too much political and carnal approach where God does God selects all leaders. Not just one, he selects all leaders. Every single leader that is appointed is appointed by God. So I want us to understand that God is not the God of, of the Republicans, nor the Democrats, nor the independents. God is the God of the Communist Party, Socialist Party as they call it now. Because we as a church, we are the salt of the world. It is our responsibility to sit here and make sure that we allow ourselves to um, be different. We are the one that should set the tone, not um, expect the world to set the tone for the church. Like We think by electing these particular people that they could do the job of the church. The job of the church is to be the salt, is to be the light, not to sit here and expect the right person to come in and do that for us. This sermon, this, this, this clip, this is so accurate. This is so true as to what the expectation needs to be. We need to understand that we as Christians, our responsibility is not to vote for a particular person or allow a particular party, but our right, our, our responsibility is for us to sit here and make sure that we point to Jesus Christ. He is our leader. I'm not saying don't respect our leaders, but I'm also saying we have to understand that he is our leader. He is the one. He is the person that we look at and we look to for strength and direction. Not Donald Trump, not Joe Biden, not RFK, not Putin, not this person, not that person. No. Our leader is Jesus Christ. And all these folks who are pointing, say, yes, vote Trump. And you're a MAGA. I'm conservative, quote unquote. It's cold word to, to find a way to use Christianity as a vehicle, not a destination, as a vehicle to get more votes. That's the purpose of these movements. If you look, if you look deep down at its roots and, and what, it, what it is, very corrupt, full of money, all about money, but not about Jesus Christ. So as election season runs, runs near, I need you in your mind and your heart to realize that God is calling you to vote according to to or to him and what he says and your goal and your desire should be should be only to jesus christ i hope this video and that in the in the message by pastor lauren can sit here and encourage you enlighten you and challenge you tell me what you think tell me how you feel am i bugging am i saying anything crazy or do you agree uh, all f feedback is, is appreciated. Thank you for your time. I appreciate you. God bless you. I love you. Peace.